Wrestling Rampage here, back with another video. That's right, we are Wrestling Rampage. I'm Joey. I'm Tommy. Follow us on Twitter, at Wrestle Rampage. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Wrestling Rampage 2. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, Wrestling Rampage. You get a lot of our great videos. That's right. Uh, today, to keep going with our Royal Rumble review series for the WWF WWE, this year for the review is 1992, held January 19th, 1992 at the Knickerbocker Arena in Albany, New York. First match on the card is the Orient Express versus the New Foundation. Yes, Jim Neidhart and Owen Hart versus Kato with Tanaka, which was bad company. Uh, In the AWA. Yeah. And uh, this was a really good opening tag match. And But Bobby Heenan made me laugh. Fucking, fucking Bobby Heenan goes, it looks like he just woke up. And the girl woke up. What do you mean? And they still got their PJs on. <laughs> It was fucking awesome. And, they, and the new foundation picks up the win over the Orient Express. That's right. And then we get uh, a WWF Intercontinental Championship match uh, between the champion, the Mountie, versus Rowdy, Roddy Piper. Yep. Yeah, and this was a good match. The promo with uh, Roddy Piper was fucking awesome. You know, fucking cut a great fucking promo. And they had a pretty good match. For the Mountie standards. Well, the Mountie became champion because uh, a couple days before the Royal Rumble, uh, it was supposed to be Bret Hart. Yes. Uh, but Bret Hart went went against his doctor's orders with I think a hundred and something temperature. Yeah, it was it was in the hundred range temperature, and he lost the belt to the Mountie. And so the Mountie, two days into his reign, is going to go against Roddy Piper. Yes. And. Uh, they put on a good match, and Rowdy Roddy Piper wins his first WWF title in the WWF as the Intercontinental Champion. And don't forget that this is the Royal Rumble, where um, this is the first ever uh, championship for like the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Uh, the winner of the Rumble is uh, the uh, new WWF Champion at the time. Uh, because uh, the title was uh, vacant yes. at the time, so uh, and and Piper could go all the way and become the WWF champion too, because he's also entered yes. in the Royal Rumble, so he could be a double champion. Um, then we get a, a match between the the Beverly Brothers versus the Bushwhackers. Yeah, this match I wasn't really too interested in. One's because this is the Beverly Brothers. Uh, any Beverly Brothers match I'm not too interested in. To me, they suck. Yeah. And uh, Bo and Blake. You know, the Bushwhackers tried the best they could to have a good match out of him. Uh, what the fuck was Jameis I have no clue. He's too busy sucking on the sock or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but, uh, who Jay the, like, who the fuck? Who, who, the, yeah, who, who hired, hired him? him? Yeah, who like, hired Jameson? Who, if anybody knows, let us know in the comments yeah. below. And, and if you know who Jameson is. Yeah, if you know who Jameson is and who the fuck hired that guy and what was his job in the WWF yeah. to do. All I seen was him being part of Bobby Heenan shit. The Bobby Heenan show, and then he came out with the Bushwhackers. And stuff like that. He was the shits. <laughs> he was fucking nerd. Uh, my favorite part was when Skinner spit on him. Which was fucking awesome. Uh, he deserved everything he got. He didn't He didn't deserve to be paid. Uh, what did Bobby Heenan say that one time? Oh, oh, oh the plane in the toilets. Well, well, the guy came back, so we don't need you now. Yeah. Fucking awesome. <laughs> But uh, the 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 Beverly brothers end up picking the win over the Bushwhackers. Which is tragic. It was it was tragic because the Bushwhackers are in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, and they're way a better team. They were a way better team than the Beverly brothers. Then we get a WWF Tag Team Championship match between the Legion of Doom versus the Natural Disasters and Typhoon and Earthquake. Yes, this was an okay tag team title match, uh, and the Natural Disasters beat. Legion of Doom, but by count out. Yes, so... Uh, so they don't win the belts. They don't win the belts. But so they win the match. So the champions are still the Legion of Doom, Hawk and Animal. Yes. Then we get to the Royal Rumble match. Yes, and this was this was a star-studded Royal Rumble match. Yes, it was. It was a good Royal Rumble match, too. This is one of my favorite Royal Rumble matches. And, you, you, you know... You, you had you the get, British Bulldog you know, out there. You had Shawn Michaels. You had... Texas Tornado, 
You have fucking Ric Flair. You had Hulk Hogan. You had The Undertaker. Sid Vicious. You had Sid Justice. You had, uh, you have fucking Sergeant Slaughter, even though you knew he'd be eliminated. The Macho Man. The Macho Man Randy Savage. You had Jake Roberts. You know? The list was on, goes on and on with the talent they had there. And then they had an oddball and Jerry Sags. Yeah. Yeah, he was the only tag team in there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but, uh, and then Ted DiBiase. And, but, uh, that Royal Rumble match was a really good one. It was. And, uh, and, you know, first guy eliminated was Ted DiBiase in short seconds. I was like, damn, that was quick. But, I'm, but I mean, he was going against the Bulldog. Yeah, he was. And and, and, and Bulldog was over in 92. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, and, and Ric Flair came out number three. You know, fucking Bobby Hand. You know, Ric Flair comes out and goes, no! Oh, you know, and you hear Girl Mom say, watch your language. Because he's pissed <laughs> the fucking... Bobby it's, was pissed that Ric Flair was given number three. It's not fair to Flair. Oh, it's a job, Bob Sue. We got job. Ric Flair's given number three. This ain't fair to Flair. Then fucking my other favorite part was when Jake Roberts and Roddy Piper were out there. Roddy Piper was beating the hell out of Jake out of Ric Flair. And Jake Roberts made the same, Oh thank you, Jake. Oh, thank you, Jake. And then fucking then fucking Jake Roberts did the clothesline all Oh, you can't trust the snake. That's what I said all these years. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then fucking uh, Roddy Piper made the save for Flair, and you hear fucking, fuck, you hear fucking Bobby goes, "Oh, thank you, Roddy. It's not a skirt. It's a kilt. It's not a skirt. It's a kilt." And then he beats up Flair. Oh, you skirt wearing freak. It's not a, it's not a kilt. It's a skirt. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. Uh, Bobby Heenan made the commentary at the 1992 Royal Rumble fantastic. Yes. He really did. And uh, Ric Flair, it was down to Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, Sid Justice, and the Macho Man. And the Macho Man got eliminated. I was like, God damn. <laughs> well, why, why, did, why shouldn't it have been Sid? <laughs> you know, but uh, then it was down to Sid and Hogan and Flair, and Sid throws, Psycho Sid throws fucking... Sid Justice throws fucking Hogan out, and then, then Hogan gets pissed off and wants to shake his hand. Shake his hand, and Flair dumps Sid over by the help of Hulk Hogan. You know. So your new WWF champion is the Nature Boy Ric Flair, and the promo with with Gene Oakland. <laughs> Some guy smoking, put that cigarette out. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. With a tear. In my That's right. This is the greatest moment and of, course, of my life. Of course, Flair was crying. That's right. <laughs> you know, but uh, I like Flair. But I don't like him now. I like him back then. Now he's just old now in shape and has been. Which I was surprised that they gave the belt to Flair back in that back in that time because yeah. Vin- Vince Vince was really animate about not and Flair putting wasn't over his creation. Yeah, not not putting over talent that he didn't create. But then again. He didn't create Hulkamania. Yeah. Vern Gagne and Hulk Hogan created that. Yeah. Um, and you know, there's just a bunch of other things they didn't that he didn't create, but he took credit for. So. Oh yeah. But you know, that's the way Vince rolls, I guess. But that was the WWF Royal Rumble 1992 review coming up. We're gonna do. We're gonna keep doing the Royal Rumble review series. So keep watching. Uh, that's right. Uh, we're gonna put it in a in a uh, playlist for you guys to watch. Uh, from the incarnation of 1988's Royal Rumble to 2016's Royal Rumble. So make sure that you check that out. Uh, make sure that you also like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because uh, we have other great videos coming to you guys. Yes. Most definitely. You guys want to check us out. Uh, Wrestling Rampage is that cream that rises to the top. That's right, the cream of the crop. And nobody does it better. 